The rain stopped. The rain stopped. And so did the noise. The sun came out, and the air smelled fresh and sweet. Everything shimmered, and a rainbow stretched across the rooftops. Look at all the people. They've all got their mouths open going, oh, look at that rainbow. It's much too nice of a day to be arguing, said the baker. I have cakes to bake. And I have pizzas to make, said the pizza man. I could use a shave while my building dries, said the painter to the barber. And then they went inside. Looks like that blue sky and rainbow starting to help everybody be a little kinder. The policeman said, everything looks a-okay here to me. <laughs> you see the reflection of the beautiful sky and clouds and rainbow in his glasses. And he went back into his car. The woman in the taxi decided that she had time to have her hair done before her trip, and she went into the beauty parlor. So the lady with the boxes got into the taxi and went home. The truck driver told the grocer, Hey, I have your tomatoes. Wonderful, said the grocer. But first, I have to pick up this fruit. The little girl and boy helped him. So he bought them ice cream cones. And the ice cream man gave each of them an extra scoop because it was such a nice day. Then the man, his wife, and their baby had a picnic together in the backyard while the dog, the cat, and the chickens slept in the warm afternoon sun. <laughs> the end. Friends, do you know what I love about this story? This story reminds me of something called a domino effect. Have you ever played with dominoes? Lined them up together on the floor or onto a table? And when you press one, boop, the rest of them fall down together to where when it's done, all the dominoes are down on the table or the ground. Sometimes this can work in a bad way, like it did in the beginning with the rain, making all the dominoes fall. If somebody was rude to another person, then that caused somebody else to be rude to someone else, and again, and again, and again, until everyone in the whole town was cranky. All these terrible things had happened, and everybody was left wondering, when is this terrible stuff going to end? But towards the middle of the story, when it stopped raining, each person in town did something kind for someone else. And like a wonderful domino effect, at the end, everyone was happy because everyone was treating each other so kindly and being so sweet to each other. So that's my challenge for you today. What can you do to be kind to someone else? Maybe your kindness to someone else will cause that person to do something nice for someone else. Maybe you can do something nice for your mom or dad. Maybe you can call a friend. Maybe you can write them a letter. Maybe you can give someone a hug. Your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your dog, your cat, your stuffed animal, whoever. Maybe you can make someone a snack. Maybe you can clean your room. Maybe... You can go brush your teeth or wash your hands the first time mom or dad asks you. And I think that if we all do that together, all at once, today and tomorrow and the next day, will end up being wonderful. So take that with you today. That's your challenge. You go be kind to someone else and watch that kindness spread everywhere around the world. Love you, friends. Bye-bye.